Hello, second grade smarties, and welcome to your third video on lesson three in iReady Math. Now, before we get started on this page, we're only doing one page today, I just want to let you guys know that I know this strategy is really hard. And the great thing about math is that some strategies work for us and some don't. But math is so cool because there's so many different ways to solve problems. So when we are doing lessons that ask us to do a lot of steps, for some friends, that strategy might work really well. For other friends, maybe that strategy isn't the best and that's okay. Good learners go into that learning pit, right? So sometimes we have to figure out what works best for us and sometimes what works best for us isn't going to work best for our friend, right? So we need to keep that growth mindset when we are exploring these topics, these strategies on mental math. So here's what I'm going to do today. We have three problems. We have one problem that I am going to show you how to use a strategy, but then I'm going to use a different strategy to solve this problem too, because I can show different strategies and some work better for me than others. So let's go ahead and get started. So number 12, it says show to show how to make a 10 to find six plus nine. I am going to write over to the side for six plus nine. So six plus nine equals blank. So here's what I'm thinking. I can break six into four plus two, okay? And actually, I'm realizing that that is not going to work. Ooh, see, I have, I have to think about how I can make a 10. See, and this is where this strategy gets tricky. Okay, well, I know nine plus one makes 10, and I know I can make one and five with six. So now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring my nine down. I'm going to add my one. I'm going to circle my five so I don't forget it. And I know nine plus 10 equals five. Nine plus one equals 10. But I'm not done, right? I circled that five so I could come back to it. So now I'm going to keep going with my 10. I'm going to add that five. And 10 plus five equals 15. Now, that strategy took me a little bit longer, right? If I already have it in my head that six can be broken into one and five, I can make nine plus one equal 10 and then add the five left over. That's amazing. That's understanding. That's understanding our math facts, our fact families. That's beautiful. But sometimes, that strategy is not going to work best for other friends. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw six plus nine over here again. Okay. And this time I am going to make a number line. I'm going to start at six and count nine more. Okay. So six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And I'm going to double check to make sure I had nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So six plus nine equals 15. I can also, what's another strategy I could use? Compound and count, right? So six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so there are different strategies that I could use. I could draw a picture. I could draw nine, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then draw six more. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you know what? We still made a 10 to help us find our whole. So we can use 10 frames to help us. We can use number lines. We can use this making a 10 strategy. We can use whatever strategies work best for us. So it says show how to make 10 to find six plus nine. Well, we explained that over here. So I'm gonna leave that be. Let's go to number 13. It says Greta and Chuck each made five plus seven by making a 10. So Greta, she took 
five and broke it into two plus three. Then I'm going to circle two because then she took seven and added the three from her five to make a 10. And then she took her 10 and added those two extra ones to make 12. And seven, five plus seven or seven plus five, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. That is a way she could, he could, she could show that. Now, Chuck, he broke the seven into two parts. He knew that five plus two could make seven. And he also knew that if he had five plus five, that makes a group of 10. And then he didn't forget that two. So he added 10 plus two more and seven plus five also made 12. So friends, this strategy, they both got the same answer and they both were able to make a 10, right? They were both able to break one of their parts into two smaller parts to help make a 10 and add the extra ones. Now, again, this strategy whew, works really well for some friends, but counting on is great too. Memorizing your math facts, that's amazing, okay? So remember, use what works best for you. All right, it says Ming added nine plus eight. See her work at the right. What did she do wrong? What is the correct answer? So it looks like Ming started by trying to make a 10, but then she added eight more and got 18 and said that nine plus eight equals 18. So I'm going to draw, I'm gonna erase this. Okay. So I'm gonna draw nine plus eight, okay? So what Ming did first is she just added nine plus one. She didn't break eight into parts. So we can break, break eight into parts. So we could add nine plus one to make 10, but what other part do I need to make that eight? I need seven, right? So this is where Ming got mixed up. She, she started, by not breaking eight into smaller parts, okay? She had to break eight into smaller parts so she could make that 10, okay? So then she could do nine plus one, but can't forget that seven because we'll have to come back to it. Nine plus one equals 10, she wasn't done yet. We're gonna add that seven, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So nine, 10 plus seven equals 17. So 10 plus seven is the same as nine plus eight. So Ming got 18 because she forgot to break that eight into smaller parts. So she was off by one. So. Friends, this strategy is so tricky, but I am so proud of your growth mindset. Use what strategy is best for you. If counting on works for you, great. If drawing a picture works for you, amazing. Friends, do what is best for you in your learning, okay? I hope you guys have a great day. If you need help, please reach out to me or your teacher or your family or your pet turtle and have a great day. I will see you all later. Bye guys.